Welcome back to HodgePodge. If you use Adobe Premiere Pro as your video editing software and you want to stabilize some footage, then you're in luck. Adobe Premiere's Warp Stabilization Video Effect is the perfect tool for achieving just that. To demonstrate how useful this technique is and how successful it is at doing its job, I have two different examples to share with you. The first is a panning shot. The first is a panning shot. To stabilize this footage, go to your Effects panel and select Video Effects, Distort, Warp Stabilizer. You could either double click it or click and drag the effect over to your video clip. Now, if you get an error message like I have, it could be for several reasons. In my case, my clip is not the same size as all the other clips in my sequence. There are two different ways I could solve for this. I could make my clip the same exact size as the other clips in this sequence, or I could simply nest the clip. To nest the video clip, right click it and then select Nest, name it, and then hit OK. Your video will be analyzed and rendered. This process will take a little while. To achieve the best results, play with the effect adjustments using the effect controls window. In this particular case, we want our result to be set to smooth motion. We can try subspace warp. Then set the framing to stabilize and synthesize edges. After reviewing the result, I think that choosing stabilize crop and auto scale might give me the effect I'm looking for. So play around with your adjustments and know what they do. It would take way too long to cover every one in detail. However, I will say that I found the no motion option to be quite effective. So much so that I thought I would highlight it in this video. Here I have some footage that I took with my smartphone and it's not like I carry a tripod around with me. But not to worry, with the no motion option, I can analyze and render the clip to perfection. Check out the before and after footage side by side. The difference is incredible. I can definitely see myself using this effect in the future. So anyways, I hope you found this video to be helpful. Let me know what you think of the warp stabilization effect in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe.